During development, a Drosophila embryo undergoes many complex morphological changes. We first see migration of pole cells from the posterior end. These cells are destined to become the germ cells of the fly. A crest develops, which separates a region that will develop into the head, mouth parts, and foregut. At this stage, the future tail end of the body is folded over on the dorsal side. Body segments then become defined. The first three segments will give rise to the head and mouth parts, the next three to the thorax, and the remaining ones to the abdomen. Eventually, the rear end of the embryo will retract back onto the ventral side and straighten out the embryo. Development to this stage takes about 10 hours. We can appreciate the complexity of these events by morphing a series of individual scanning electron micrographs into a continuous temporal sequence. Migration of pole cells. Development of various surface indentations, including openings to the air ducts or tracheal tubes segmentation, and tail retraction. A similar sequence viewed from the top, or dorsal side. Pole cells migrate and then move into the interior as the hind gut invaginates. The rear end is temporarily folded over onto the dorsal side, and eventually starts retracting to straighten out the embryo. Early in development, when seen from the bottom, or ventral side, a deep groove forms during gastrulation as mesodermal cells migrate inward, where they become the precursor cells for many internal organs. The groove then seals off as the cells that remain exterior zipper up.